Chelsea Green Publishing presents The Coronation, Essays from the COVID Moment, written and read by Charles Eisenstein. That's me. Chapter 4. Numb. July 2020. I have written in an earlier essay about the mania for safety, the denial of death, the glorification of youth, and the all-encompassing program of control that has engulfed our society. Here I will state a simple truth. There is more to living than merely staying alive. We are here to live life, not just survive life. That would be obvious if the certainty of death were integrated into our psychology. But in modern society, sadly, it is not. We hide death away. We live in a pretense of permanence. Seeking the impossible, the infinite postponement of death, we fail to fully live life. We are not the discrete, separate individuals that modernity narrates to us. We are interconnected. We are interexistent. We are relationship. To live fully means to relate fully. COVID-19 is a further step in a long trend of disconnection from community, from nature, and from place. With each step of disconnection, although we may survive as separate selves, we become less and less alive. The young and the old are especially sensitive to this disconnection. We see them shrivel like fruit in a drought. As a psychiatrist friend recently wrote to me, among the elderly, the fallout has been truly disastrous. Being quarantined in the room and isolated from family is causing massive amounts of invisible suffering and decline, as well as deaths. I can't tell you how many anguished family members have told me that it's not COVID that is killing their loved one, it's the restrictions. I am not advocating that sociality become a new absolutism to replace death postponement as the overriding determinant of public policy. I just want it to be prominent in the conversation. I want to enshrine it as a sacred value. A full social life is not some privileged add-on to the meeting of measurable physical needs. It is a basic human right and a basic human necessity.